And so what I did was use this tool to show you objective data that states no matter what the circumstances are, we are right now currently in the absolute best time to list your house on the market if getting the most money for it is what you're interested in. And I think that most of you are. Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. I am your host. My name is Sammy Fryer, licensed realtor in the state of South Carolina. And this is gonna be a short, simple, sweet, straight to the point video, but it could make and or save some of you guys out there a lot of money. So listen up. Today, I am going to tell you what the best time to list your house on the market is if you are selling, and I'm gonna show you why. And this is actually pretty straightforward and simple, but it is information that a lot of people may not be aware of. And so with that said, let's dive right into the data, let's dive right into the statistics, and let's take a look. Now, it is currently May the 16th, 2024, as I sit here, right here, right now, and I'm going to suggest to you that this is or is just about to breach the time period that is the absolute best time, the most ideal time to list your house on the market for sale to maximize its earning potential. So let's pull up my market report. And as always, if you would like to receive these market reports for free to your inbox weekly, and this data does update weekly, this is real time data, then just shoot me a request for that. All my contact information is down in the description of the video, and I will gladly get these over to you for free. There's only two data points that I wanna look at. We can keep this short and sweet to make this point very easily. Let's look at first median list price, so house prices. And what you're gonna see is that in May coming into June, home prices increase cyclically. So what we're talking about are seasonal trends. And what I wanna say now, and then I'll come back to this in a minute and make sure that we really nail this in, don't get so focused on, because people tend to do this, mortgage rates. Mortgage rates are over 7% on average right now, and everybody's focused on mortgage rates. And while that is a relevant factor in home selling and buying, particularly speaking to you home sellers right now, do not get fixated on mortgage rates and lose sight of this piece of data that we're going over that does not change. This is still relevant and factored in no matter what's going on with mortgage rates. This is still relevant data and important. And we're gonna look at a five year span and see how this holds true as mortgage rates have fluctuated a lot. There's been a lot of variance in mortgage rates over the last five years from today going backwards. So let's take a look at it right now to June is gonna be the sweet spot. And what we see is median list prices in our market, this is Florence, South Carolina, of course, increase. We can see this increase starting right here around May. You see that sharp increase? We've been talking about this on our weekly show every Tuesday at seven o'clock uh, for weeks now. But you see this increase. And for us right now, this goes back to mid-March. All right, let's go back to 2023, right around May. In this case, starting in February, we see the increase and we see the spike in home prices, and we can see looking backwards at last year that it begins to taper off around the end of summer, around August. Does this hold true in 2022? Yes, it does. And mind you, all this is a time period of high interest rates. This started back here. So same thing around May 22, in this case, really the first week of June, we see the increase in median list prices. Again, beginning to taper off around September. So end of the summer, August, September. Does the trend hold true in 2021? Yes, it does. Around the beginning of June, we start to see the increase in home prices. And yet again, around September, in this case, October, they begin to drop off a little bit. And really the rule of thumb is everything really, whether it's August, September, October, everything really dies down by around November for the holidays, of course. Same thing, 2020. And mind you, this is even an odd year. This is the COVID year, but yet this trend this trend still holds true around May. In this case, mid-May, well, actually a little bit before, so the end of March, prices start to go up and they taper off again around mid-November in this case. And then going back to as far back as our data goes, five years to 2019, May, we see the increase. And then around September, October, the prices start to fall. So we have five years here worth of data that we can look at and see that home prices go up starting around the time of the year that we're in right now. So to get the most for your home, according to median list prices, with the statistical reference showing us the cyclical pattern, 
then that data would scream, now would be the time to list. Now, the big question is, though, well, that's great that the prices are going up, but are they selling? So the other thing that we need to look at is the average days on market, because if the inference is correct, then what I would expect to see is that also around May, the average days on market should be decreasing. That's what sellers would want to see. Prices are going up and those homes are being bought. That's really what it comes down to. So let's take a look. So far this year, as we can see, going back to February, but really we see a decline right here. Now we're early in the season, right? It's hard to tell where this is going to go. I'm going to suggest to you that this number is going to continue to drop. And we're going to go back and look at the last four years to see that. But we do see that right around April the 19th, the dip starts to become a little bit more significant here for this year. But let's go back to last year. 2023, starting at May, we start to see the decline in the average days on market. Going back to May 2022, we see a decline in the average days on market. Now, that didn't last as long, but mind you that 2022 is when the interest rates went up that spring and you're seeing people start to kind of catch on to that and pull back from the market a little bit. All that hesitation got injected and everything that was going on there. But nonetheless, the trend is still the same. There was an external variable that kind of caused the how long it lasted to change. But yet, nonetheless, in May, average days on market begins to decline. Going back to 2021, right at the end of May, beginning of June, average days on market, sharp decline. Going back to 2020, there was a little bit of fluctuation and up and down, and it really, it really was a different situation. But remember, 2020 is an anomaly because we had COVID. So like this is right in the middle of the pandemic, of everything that was going on. I mean, look at that. May 2020 uh, through October. I mean, this is when people were locked in their homes and, you know, working staggered schedules at work and all of that kind of stuff. So there's a, a major <laughs> anomaly right here. The bottom line, though, is you see median days on market drop, median days on market drop, and this is all around May. You see May, 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 median days on market drop, median days on market drop. So like I said, this is a really short, straight to the point video for you sellers out there. But if you're in the Florence market, and I'm going to suggest to you that really most markets across the country really kind of look this way. And you can go on your report and look at any market in the country that you want to. So no matter what city you're in watching this video, you can pull this up, do the same thing that I did, and see where that sweet spot is at. For us, it's going to be mid-May, early June. That really will be about the most prime time to list your home on the market with a 180-day contract, which is the usual, it's the norm, it's not standard, but that is typically what people sign. You have that whole prime time of our market to have your home listed to get the most value for it. And so a lot of smart agents are telling their sellers, if you can hold out, if you can wait, then you know let's wait till May or June to list the house. And this is the reason why. So I would suggest to sellers right now in our market, don't get fixated on mortgage rates. I know all the experts are saying, well, mortgage rates might come down this time, that time. Well, they said they were gonna be down in June. And it doesn't look like that's going to be the case. In fact, at the time that a lot of people were saying that a few months ago, mortgage rates may actually be higher than they were then. And the fact is, nobody really knows for certain. There are Federal Reserve pundits themselves who made uh, predictions about where mortgage rates would be this time this year that are on record that were wrong. So everybody's really guessing. Now, some people have a lot of tools and resources and experience to make educated guesses, and that's all good and great, but people are guessing. This cyclical pattern of our market is, for the most part, stable, even in the midst of high increasing mortgage rates, as we saw, and global pandemics, even to an extent, it still was more or less following the, the cyclical trend. So what I'm going to suggest to you is that if you're looking to list your house, now would be the time to do it. You need to speak to a listing agent, speak to a couple of listing agents, see who's offering the most bang for your buck, see what people are doing to actually market your home to get it sold, or are they just putting a sign in the yard and saying, hey, we'll call you when we have a buyer. See what people are bringing to the table. Now would be a great time to list your home. 
If you want to receive a complimentary evaluation and you're in the Florence area, in the PD area of South Carolina, all of my contact information is down in the description of this video. I would love to set up a consultation with you today. Let's get your house listed. Let's get it on the market and get top value for your home. And likewise, like I said, if you'd like to receive these reports for free, no matter what city you're in in the United States, you can look at all this data for yourself for free. Just reach out to me. I will get them over to you, get you signed up. Doesn't cost you a thing. And so what I did was use this tool to show you objective data that states no matter what the circumstances are in the world, or should I say in the country, we are right now currently in the absolute best time to list your house on the market if getting the most money for it is what you're interested in. And I think that most of you are. And so with that being said, as always, I wish you guys all the best in your personal real estate endeavors. I look forward to talking to you soon. And in the meantime, y'all take care and we'll see you on the next one.